I'm here to read for you again. Hello, Cellulane Love Tarot, or Hillary for short. Welcome, welcome, happy Thoughtful Thursday. We are going to figure out who is thinking about you. This is a reading for probably someone who's not saying anything to anyone because it's all mind space shenanigans. You live in, in their head rent free. So, we're going to find out. We're going to see what your dynamic is. I don't know if it's going to be family, coworker, boss, uh, potential employers. I, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out. Lovers, friends, the whole shebang. We'll, we'll see, okay? Um, I'm just staging my space here, and then I will jump right in. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad that we've crossed paths. Thank you so much for stopping in. I hope that we blend really well, you and I. Um, and if we don't, that's okay, too. Like, not everyone's for everyone. It's all good. Um, thank you for being here anyway. And if you are returning, my love, my darling, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here again. I cannot express how grateful I am for your continued support and just you in general. I have such a heart-opening love, love abundance for you. So thank you so much. You are so dear to me. Okay, I'm going to clear for you, Selenite. Clear for me. And then we will jump in with some cosmic insights, which should give details about your situation, your relationship with this person who is thinking about you, okay? Get some defining details to figure out if this is your reading. Again, it's a collective reading, so it might not be for you, um, maybe one of the other ones are, but if it's not for you, that's okay. Um, tarot readings are kind of like being at the store and hearing over the intercom that, you know, a cheetah print wallet was found and they don't need anyone to go up and say, hey, it wasn't my cheetah print wallet. Just so you know, <laughs> they just want the people whose wallet it is to claim it. Okay. So if this is not your reading, that's okay. Hopefully I'll be in your energy soon. Um, anyway, let's get, let's get going. Spirit, my higher self, my viewers, higher, higher self. Ooh, I'm a hard time speaking. Thank you so much for using me as a channel to guide and instruct spirit. I ask for the most clear and concise information to come through. Give me the right emotions, feelings, sensations, and words for my viewer and for the highest good of everyone involved. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit, and thank you again for being here. Let's jump in. Cosmic Insights. What is your situation? Intuition jumps out right off the bat. The red flags you ignore now will be will come back to bite later. Oh, it's a little it's a little reflecty with that window. I apologize. Okay. What else? Water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see, Scorpio, that, that could be a person or a season. Um, Scorpio season is the next upcoming water season, but any of them could be relevant. Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Divorce. Experiencing a breakup. Gold digger. They want your money being used. Health. Health issues could arise. Hmm. Confession. Someone has something to tell you. Okay. The energy I'm getting from these off the bat, um, as far as a situation goes, a relationship with someone. With narcissist on the bottom, someone is too full of themselves. Yeah, I feel like someone has been really detrimental to your mental health. And I feel like the amount of stress that they have put you under has led to actual physical health problems manifesting. And it doesn't have to be, it could be anything. Like it it could be anxiety, right? It could be depression. That's all mental health. But if you have high stress levels, you could also be dealing with like a, a, a oh my gosh, adrenal fatigue, like, um, 
uh, some yeah. other thing like thyroid issues. Just when when your stress levels are raised, go look up the complications of stress levels being raised. I feel like this stumbling that I'm experiencing right now is like what you would be experiencing. Like you don't know what is true and what's not, right? You're almost like when you try to speak up, you're almost timid to say anything. I feel like you're someone who gives a lot of chances because you've been trying to manifest this to get better. Um, but I feel like this person has put you through the ringer. You could be in separation right now, hopefully. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, hopefully. But yeah, I, I feel like this person is a user, abuser. <sighs> chronic confuser <laughs> it's not funny it's not funny I don't like it I don't like it I don't like this for you if this is you I'm so sorry I don't even want to know what they're thinking because they're a narcissist I'm gonna jump in and I'm going to see their energy towards you and then your energy towards them then I will pull what they are thinking and your advice forward okay Spirit, can you please connect me to the person who is thinking of my viewer? Can you please give me their energy towards my viewer right now? What is their energy towards my viewer? Why did that wanted to show for a second? Seven of Cups wanted to show for a second. It went right back in the deck. So I feel like this person is dealing with other options. Why am I shaking? Why am I shaking all of a sudden? Am I meant I'm like feeling physical sensations? That would be a stress response. This person is dealing with other options. They view you as one of the options, like a play thing, but they don't want you to know that. The way it flipped out and then went right back in tells me that they don't want you to know that. Okay, nine of sorts. Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups, Strength, with the Seven of Swords on bottom. Okay, uh, this person, I, I don't feel like, I feel like you're in some sort of turmoil with them. Things are not good. I don't know if you're completely separated or not or if it's leading there. But I feel like this person is stressed out right now. Um, because <laughs> they want to have their cake and eat it too. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups, and Strength. It's like they want to be able to go swing their wand around anywhere they want. And still have you. They don't want you to walk away. They want to have you whenever they want you. Whenever they want you. Hmm. The strength. What is the strength? I might clarify that real quick. What is that strength card, please? This person is deceptive. They have a lot of secrets. They don't want you to find out. The strength is the Queen of Swords. I feel like you may be in a position of taking back your power. I feel like you may be getting very clear with yourself on what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. And I feel like you are just being very blunt and nonchalant about it. Um, yeah, I feel like you're just like, well, I'm not going to let myself come back to a situation that's toxic. The thing about the Queen of Swords, she had a lot, has a lot of love, had a lot of love, but she has gone through extreme life situations that have made her have to put her guard up. So she, in a sense, can be a little disconnected from her heart because the Queen of Swords experience is that being so connected to her heart was devastating for her. I feel like this is what where you're at, and I feel like that's why they're in this Nine of Swords energy. So they're just like, I can't have my cake and eat it too. 
Is there anything else that wants to come out for this? Judgment. Judgment reversed and the Five of Swords on bottom. This judgment reversed landed on the Eight of Cups. They are like, they are freaking out because they don't want you to leave. They don't want, <laughs> they don't want you to see them for what they are. They, they don't like being exposed to who they are. They want to be able to rug sweep this under, they want to rug sweep it, they want to sweep it under the rug. They want you to just think that they are the best. It's, it's, I can see the narcissism. I am not a doctor. I cannot diagnose anyone, even if a narcissist card comes out. I can't do it, but there are narcissistic tendencies in abundance here. That's what it seems like. Okay, let me get your energy towards them. Either way, they view you as very much like, done, done. Or if you're not there yet, they are afraid of you finding things out that they are doing that will put you in that place that will cause this conflict. Yeah. What is my viewer's energy towards this person? What is my viewer's energy towards this person? I just saw the justice card. Mm -hmm. Pissed off. Let's see. My viewer's energy towards this person who's thinking about them, please. What, are th what is their energy? Five of Cups, the Devil, the Wheel. Wait, what just wanted to show up? The Ten of Swords wanted to peek up for a second. Ooh, y'all. We got the King of Swords reversed. Oh. <laughs> Honey, you're mad, and I don't blame you. Page of Swords. Four Wands on bottom with the Knight of Swords. Okay. okay, your energy towards this person. Five of Cups, the Devil, the Wheel, the King of Swords reversed, and the Page of Swords. I feel like you have been in a cycle for a long time of wishing things could be different. I feel like this person, like, got your hopes and expectations up just to shatter them, right? And that's what narcissists do. That's just what they do. They love bomb, discard, devalue. And I feel like this cycle that has happened with the wheel, this cycle, you're recognizing that it's a cycle. You're recognizing that this person is a narcissist. Your energy is like, I'm going to see you for what you are. I'm going to see that things aren't going to change, that this is going to be just the same. I no longer believe you. I no longer believe you because I found some things out. You may have been doing, you may have found something on their, on their phone, on their history. You may have had a friend who reached out and said, oh, I saw so-and-so with this person this, at this place. Or, you know, you found something out that made you realize that this person is a liar. What's interesting is that they view you as the queen of swords upright and you view them as the king of swords up, reversed. So with that, this could have been someone that you thought was a twin flame. I, hmm. with the way Narcissus came out in that deck, I feel like it's a false twin. But with four of wands on the bottom, I feel like you're realizing the truth that this is not your twin flame, that this is not going to be a happy time for you. It's just been nothing but misery. And so with, with that truth, you are learning how to heal and move past the heartache that this person has put you through because you're realizing that you're not stuck anymore, eight of swords, and you can go towards your happiness if you choose to keep to yourself and guard your heart. This woman is looking away from things, but what she's holding dear to her is right over her heart and her abdomen, your solar plexus and your heart chakra, your belief system and your heart system. Wow. Yeah, things are changing for you. This is self-empowerment. It's it's a harsh reality, though. This is not easy for you. Like, I can feel so glad and thankful that you're seeing this person for who they are, but still have so much empathy because I know the amount of pain 
and turmoil you have gone through, the amount of mental stress, the issues that you have had to deal with because of this person and you believing in them because they, they're they awfully fucking convincing, aren't they? Ugh. Ugh. This is just a cycle. I'm sorry. This energy disgusts me. It disgusts me. Okay. I, I feel disgusted for you. I feel like that's how you could feel with this King of Swords energy reversed too. It's just like disgusted. Any of this, the, oh my gosh, what do they call it? The court cards for, for the swords reversed also signify a lot of anger, right? You have every right to be angry. I just saw 1551 on the clock. Uh, okay, let's get what this person is thinking. What is this person thinking? What are they thinking? What are they thinking about my viewer? I will get your advice, okay? I'm feeling angry for you, like a righteous anger, a righteous, and I'm feeling it burning right here in my solar plexus, righteous anger. Also, there's Leo on the board, Sagittarius, and fixed, fixed signs. Okay, what is this person thinking about my viewer? What are they thinking? They think you're moving on. King of Cups, King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and Seven of Swords. This person is thinking that you caught on. You, you saw through the mask. They showed up as someone really loving, really kind, really emotional, available, but really that's not who they are. It was all deceptive. They view themselves. They, they think, I think it's funny, you viewed them as the King of Swords upside down, and they're thinking about you viewing them as the king of swords upright so they are thinking about how basically what they wanted to get away with this illusion this mask they wanted to get away with didn't work it didn't work they their, their thoughts about you are not even about you it's about them and that sounds so narcissistic doesn't it they're not even thinking about you they're thinking about your perception of them your perception of them. It's all about their mask, how they look, the amount of time that they've spent in this, the amount of effort that they put into whatever, because, you know, a narcissist thinks that putting on a mask and faking something for someone, you know, love bombing is effort. That's what they equate to effort because it takes effort for a narcissist to pretend like they fucking care. All lies. All lies. Four of Cups on the bottom, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're just, it's, uh, woe is me, woe is me. Oh, I don't like that this is over. I have narcissistic injury. My pride and ego is hurt. I didn't get away with telling lies. They're getting away just fine. But now I have all of these issues that I'm dealing with because... Things are over. Five of Cups, depression. This is someone suffering narcissistic injury because they were way too wishy-washy, juggling people, going back and forth. Things were imbalanced. Oh, but they, oh, of course. Yeah, of course. They're like, I want to tell them that, that, I, that I want to work on this because look, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, they don't want you to get away. They don't want you to glow up. They don't want you to see what you are fucking worth. I'm sorry for all the cuss words this person. Oh. They don't want you to see what you are worth. Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. They want that to stay hidden. The moon. Oh, this motherfucker. Oh, I don't like it. Their thoughts about you are what you think about them. They're not thinking about how they actually hurt you. 
They're not thinking about how you feel. They're thinking about how what you feel, how that's making them feel. Ah, uh, mm. You're going to be happier without them. I just picked up this deck to try to move it to get the other deck for your advice forward. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to use that deck to see what they're going to do. Because I need to know what a narcissist... I, we need to be two, a, two steps ahead of a narcissist. First of all, if you know that this person is a narcissist, then you know that they're a narcissist. <laughs> this needs to end. They're going to try to restart it, though. They're going to try to say that it's healing the world and temperance on the split before I even get started. Okay. Okay, I'm going to see what their actions are going to be, right? Because right now it's all sinister little plotting in their head. I'm going to see what they're going to do, what they're going to try to attempt, and then I will get your advice cards, okay? What is this person going to plan? What upcoming action is this person going to take towards my viewer? The devil is alive and well, y'all. I didn't even see this. As I'm trying to get what they're going to do, as I'm trying to figure out what this person is planning, all of a sudden I get a phone call that interrupts my recording. They're like, no, 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 no. 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 Don't tell them. Don't tell them. I'm going to tell on you. I'm going to tell on you, motherfucker. I'm going to tell on you. What is this person going to do towards my viewer? What is going to come up? Okay. I put my phone on airplane mode so that that can't happen again. I apologize about that. Okay. What is this person going to try to do? What is upcoming? What actions are they going to take? They're going to try to love bomb you. They're going to, they're going to, mm. you know, I don't even see them taking accountability. It's not even fake accountability. we got the three of wands, the star and the sun, Aquarius energy, Leo energy with the lovers on bottom and the six of wands under that, the king of swords, difference. This person is planning to basically come bring their ideas to heal this they're going to try to reconcile with the star they're going to be like you're actually everything that i want i just saw 144 on the clock and if you know what 144 is then you know that's a twin flame number this person is not a twin flame use your own discernment you know your situation better than me okay but the energy of whoever i'm picking up this person is false this person is a narcissist disguised as a twin flame okay disguised as a twin. They are going to try to basically rush in and try to make everything better. They're going to love bomb you. Oh my gosh, I'm going to treat you so well. I'm going to put all my focus on you, you know. They're going to try to hoover you. Just to build up their pride with that six of wands. Is there any more details about what they're going to do? The two of wands reversed. Yeah, they're going to make false plans. They're going to make false plans to fix this. The knight of pentacles. They're going to make false plans to fix this. They are going to give an offer that is like, I want something long-term stable and committed. But is that thing ever going to come? This guy is not even walking. He's just standing there with his foot on the pentacle, preventing it from going anywhere while he's off reading over here, researching, doing whatever. Normally the Knight of Pentacles is something solid, stable, committed, it's worth the long haul, but this person is going to make it seem like things just need to take time. We need to take time. I want, I want you to be in my f energy field. I want to make you think that there's going to be happiness, joy, success here. I'm going to try to hoover you back in to convince you to come back, to convince you to give me another try so that my ego can be built, but I'm not really doing anything to progress this forward. False plans. 
King of Wands. Mm. The King of Wands flew out and landed on the Seven of Swords. This person, very charming, quite charming. There's, there's even like a lot of chemistry here. They're very charismatic. So they'll, they'll try to charm, charm you and they're going to try to seem like they are, they're going to try to like dominate the conversation being a king role. They're going to try to, to dominate the conversation. They're going to charm you into dominating you. Liar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. Let's get your advice. Let's get your advice. If you're someone who's found their power, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. You, you're, you're amazing. And this will be transmuted into wisdom that you can share eventually it's not something that you have to do right now like but you you could help others with your story this person as much as as they've taken from you you will get it you will gain back everything including wisdom including self-respect including everything everything that you wanted this person to give you you're going to give for yourself and you're going to feel how amazing that feels internal Self-validation, internal validation is an ocean of supply compared to puddles of external validation. This person has breadcrumbed you and given you puddles, puddles of external validation. The highs are really high and the lows are low and longer than the highs ever were, right? Advice from my viewer, Justice, the King of Wands. <laughs> Cut out the player. Yeah, see through... See through the facade. See through the facade. You know, you know how many people try to go into court and try to charm the judge? Try to, I don't know, like I'm getting the Daryl Brooks trial. Did I pronounce that right? <sighs> no, I just got a, an old <laughs> MTV reference. It's, 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 it's spelled like Daryl, but it's pro pronounced Darrell. Can I get your number? Can I get it? If you know what that is, I love you. How many people try to go in and manipulate a judge? But a judge knows exactly what they're dealing with, and they don't take to charming. They look at things very logically. They stand up for justice, and no one's going to smooth talk their way out of getting what they deserve, okay? You're going to balance the scales here. You want that. The full. Start new. Start fresh. Move past this person. Move past this person. Look forward to new beginnings. <laughs> the judgment reversed again with the six of cups reversed. It's time to take, yeah. Whatever connection you think you had with this person, you, this person may have triggered a spiritual awakening for you, okay? The judgment upright can be a spiritual awakening. It's an awakening of, awakening of some sort, an epiphany, a realization, a new perspective, right? Um, profound, God-given. I feel like this person could have awakened you spiritually, which is why you're standing in empowerment, okay? This situation is asking you to change how you're viewing this person. So a six of cups upright, you know, is talking about one of the definitions of soul connections, right? Soulmates, twin flames, it's, it's that level of connection with someone, past life. Reversed with this judgment reverse, I think it's saying, like, please release yourself from whatever title you gave this person of significance in your life. Release them of that. Whatever. It, it's okay that this 
connection maybe woke you up to whatever, like twin flames or whatever. It woke you up to that. And maybe you are a twin flame, but maybe it's not with this person. This is a false twin. But if you resonate with feeling like a twin flame, perhaps your real divine masculine is out there somewhere. Either way, even if, even if it's not, you deserve a soulmate who actually treats you well. I will never advocate for someone waiting for their divine masculine while they treat them like shit for however long. Like, you deserve happiness. And the universe will give you a soulmate who treats you well. You know, like, yeah. Any other advice cards? Oh my gosh. It fell on the flow. That's coming after that reversed judgment and six of cups. See the truth of this person. Release them of all the all the titles that you gave them and just focus on you. Whatever title you gave this person is not important. It's more important that you focus on you. Okay, self-concept. Go look up self-concept stuff. A lot of that will pull up like a uh, specific person manifesting. I don't do that. I like the self-concept part of changing how you believe you show up in the world. It's not even about self-esteem. Self-esteem comes with it, but that's not really the goal of self-concept. It's changing how you view your position in the world, okay? It's showing up and giving yourself mentally and emotionally the reality that you desire and watching that unfold before you, okay? I feel like one was slipped over there. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's time to re-reflect on how you view this person. It's time to re-reflect. Figure out, are they actually worth the title Divine Masculine? Are they actually worth the title Twin Flame? Are they actually worth the importance that you placed on them? My personal opinion says no. Mm-hmm. Because, look, what's hidden under the deck? What's hidden under the de deck is the moon and the two of cups. You don't see it coming, but you have an actual true love soulmate coming. You don't see it, and you're kind of afraid that you're going to miss it, but it's right there. Yeah, you got to step into your freaking power, right? You got to step into your freaking power. Got to step into your freaking power. Oh, my gosh. Yes, focus on you. You're amazing. You're amazing. You, you know your worth. Know your worth. Okay. Uh, let's get you. I'll get you some a no. moon witch oracles. Okay, sorry. I should have thought about that beforehand. Oh, well. Moon witch oracles just for some additional guidance, okay? Then I'll let you go. Thank you for being here. I know this is a long one. Okay. Moon Witch Oracle's here for my viewer in their situation. First quarter, it's time to commit. It's time to commit to you. It's bringing things, it's balancing that dark and light, okay? It's time to commit to balancing. This has been unbalanced. Hecate, Hecate, I never remember how to say it. Change is important. Release the past. Yep, release this person. Release the past. Diana, be one with nature. And then the answer, no, just came out. Sleep on it. So you may be getting downloads in your sleep, maybe. Spiritual downloads in your sleep. Go connect with nature to help get you aligned and grounded. Okay? That's what I'm going to call it. I'm so sorry you've been dealing with this person. I'm so proud of you for moving past this. You are amazing. Don't let anyone try to drag you back down. Whatever importance you think this person is, you're way more important than them. So remember to put yourself on that pedestal. Whatever, they don't deserve your attention. That's what they want. Even what they were thinking about you was not about you. It was what, about what you were thinking about them. That's this person. That's this person. Okay. I love you so much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the, of the, the day. <laughs> I love, 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 love. <laughs> Tomorrow is Freaky Friday. We're going to dive in and see 
what ways we need to let our freak flag fly, fully self-authentic, self-expressed, complete, like, love and commitment to being you. So if I see you tomorrow for Freaky Friday, I'll look forward to seeing you then. If not, and this is where we part, I hope you have a great rest of the week or a great life. I love you so much. All right, take care. Bye.